Hello, this is Mrs. Cavalier, and I'm going to be showing you how to create note cards in Noodle Tools. So this should be the second in my little Noodle Tools series. You should have already created an account, and you should by now know how to place citations or create citations in your project. So here I am. I'm going to go into this project on William Blake. And I'm going to go to my sources so that I can make sure that my sources are all there. Okay, so my sources are here. I have three sources so far that I'm going to be getting notes from. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the next tab, which is note cards. So here we are. As you can see, I've already made a few note cards. And so you can see the whole page there. And so here is one note card on Blake, and here's another note card on Blake. So I'm going to make a new note card. All you would do up here in this corner is click the New button, and this opens up. This is what a note card looks like in Noodle Tools. So I would like to make a note card on William Blake's early life. So I will call it Blake Early Life. The next thing you want to do here is you want to select a source. So it happens to be this source, so I choose it. And now right here it says copy, paste, and annotate here. Capture the author's words and images. Get quotes and attributions uh, right. Mark up the quote by coloring and highlighting the text. So I want to go directly to this article. This is a database article from Bloom's Online Literature. And it talks a little bit about how he studied at the Royal Academy of Art, which is interesting to me because, and it also talks about how he was really good at drawing and engraving. So maybe I'm going to take this information. Okay, so I'm going to take this and I'm literally going to control C. I'm going to use short code there. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go to my note card and I'm going to paste it. Now, the really nice thing is that you can take this type of information. Now, this is important. I find that it's important. So I'm going to go over here, I'm going to hit this, and I'm going to highlight it. So now it's highlighted. Um, and then over here, in my own words, oh, also, I also think that it's important that he studied, even though he was a poet, he studied at the Royal Academy of Art. So maybe that's a secondary point. So maybe my secondary points are purple, okay? So you can see that you can, you can annotate and you can highlight and all of those things that you usually do. Now, in your own words, this is where you're going to paraphrase. So it says, explain it to yourself in words that you understand. Look back at the quote, got it all. So over here, I'm just going to type out my, what I have, what I have to say. So, um, I could say Blake had talent, artistic talent, a young age. He was to an engraver in his early teens and later studied at the Royal of Art. Okay? So now it says I've studied, you know, that is my paraphrase of these two paragraphs. At that point, that's all I want. So that is a paraphrase. That is something that you could use in your paper and then cite the article after it without putting quotes. If you were doing a direct quote, you would use a direct quote from the left side. Now over here is like what you would write in a margin if you photocopied this and you were writing in the margins information that will be interesting to you. So, you know, but this is an, an electronic version of a note card. So here's my original thinking. This is interesting to me because in Blake's most famous, wait, in Blake's most famous work of poetry, he had engraved pictures that went with each poem. So 
the fact that he had such artistic talent as an engraver, and there literally are engravings of all of those poems that are in the Songs of Innocence and Experience, that's interesting to me. So now I want to save and close my note. So I just hit up here, save and close. Ta-da! There is my note over here. Okay, so now let's say I want to color code. So I could hit this. Oh, hold on. I'm going to hit the box and an orange dotted line goes around it. If I want to tag the color, I go over here to tags and color. And let's say my biography stuff is going to be green. I make it green. And then I want to clear that box. I just hit down here, clear. Here's another bit of biographical information about how he was received. Apparently people thought he was crazy. So I'm going to hit that box. I'm going to go up to tags and color and make it green. So that's really good. So now since these are both biographical information, I can also make a pile. So I could take this, well, hold on, hold the phone, clear. Let's say I want a little pile of biographical information. I can drag it and drop it. And now it's saying pile name. So I can call this biographical info and hit OK. And now it made a pile, OK? So let's say I want to open up that pile. You just click it and hit expand. There's, you know, there are my notes. Now, please take a look over here. This is a place where you can create an outline. You can add, okay, you can add things there. Let's say you want to go into literary criticism and you want to add, you know, like the letter A. You could right click and hit add topic. Oops. Hold on, I can delete that. Yes, I want to delete it. I didn't want to add that. I actually want to add a subtopic. So you click there, and now it added a subtopic. So let's say I want to take this Blake Early Life card and drag it into my outline. I can. I can take it. See, it's leaving the pile. And I'm dragging it up to here, right where it says Early Life, and I'm dropping it. Okay. So now let's say I want to make another topic. I can right click on early life and add, add topic. So there's my B and I could say reception. And let's say I want to take this note and drag it in. I just take it, drag it, highlight where it says reception and drop. It is a really, really nice electronic way to take your notes and organize your notes. Again, if you ever have any questions about how to use this, feel free to stop by the library. All right, that's all for now. Have a great day.